What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Preventing Boredom. This week, I am by myself. Uh, Jake wasn't able to make it, but I hope I can keep you entertained and give you my uh, perspective on this week's game, which is One Night Ultimate Werewolf. very fun game um we've played it with a lot of groups which is where i prefer you try giving this game a shot we also planned this time to review it because if you do enjoy this i think you should go get it and have it ready for your halloween parties so let's move on to the artwork the artwork in this game is okay there's nothing fantastic about it or over the top um it does have the more cartoon stylish um art and you know it's not bad you can easily tell the difference between the different characters um but just nothing special artwork i'm gonna give it middle of the road just give it a five Now, heading over to the components, the components are really just the characters. There's not a need for any components of this game. It just doesn't necessarily fit in. They did at least use um, thick material for the uh, characters, but yeah, they're just not really needed in this game. and. Once you see it and play it, you'll understand why there can't be any. So, I'm just not even going to give them a score on this one. Alright, so now let's talk about thematics. Thematics, along with most of these games that we have done in October, um, this is where they really thrive. And thematics with this one, it has an app that goes through each of the nights. Um, it's really great. So, really, to explain the rules, you don't even need to. Just throw out, pull up the app, pick the characters you're going to be using, press play. Tell everyone who's paying attention, that's wanting to play, learn the rules, tell them just listen. Once they see how the format goes, I think that will make it a lot easier explaining the different roles of the different characters, their different abilities, <laughs> and it will take away some of that intimidation of, what time do I go? Oh, the app's going to tell me. So, with this, the app also has different background music. Some of it's goofy, like there's an alien rock thing or something like that, and it's a little weird. But... There's also some creepy and drama music that are great. It adds to this. Um, last time I played it, we actually hooked it up to a speaker. Um, and so it was really loud, sounded great, and there was no chance for anyone to miss whose time it was to go. <laughs> and for each of the characters, you do get to kind of feel like some of them, such as Troublemaker, which is one of my favorites. Um, just getting to mess around with other people uh, just makes it really fun. Um, Nick's not a good person to play with this because he really didn't understand the rules. Um, but Nick just cut that part out. So for the thematics, I'm going to give this one an 8. It's really solid and yeah, it's a very enjoyable game. So overall. It's a great game more people the better and this game actually when you get the expansions I believe you can take up to you can play with 93 or 94 people Nick will throw up the number right here and yeah go get this game grab an expansion or two and try it at your Halloween party um, 
it's fun, easy. You go through a lot of rounds really quick. And yeah, just enjoy it and have fun. But, you know, I feel like we're missing something. So we have asked some of our uh, kids at the youth to give us their overall rating for it so you can get a little more perspective since Jacob couldn't make it. So Nick, throw it up. On a scale of one to 10, I would rate One Night Werewolf a solid eight. It's a really good party game. It's really fun. Uh, when you have more people, it's a lot more fun. And uh, it's just, it's really good. It gets people talking and uh, gets people pointing fingers, quite literally. I rate One Night Werewolf a 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, One Night Werewolf is a pretty fun game, so uh, for that reason, I give it a 7. I rate One Night Wait. Werewolf a 9 out of 10. I rate One Night Werewolf a 10 out of 10. Alright, thanks guys. We really appreciate you watching and supporting us. Please keep leaving likes and comments. Um, we're really wanting to reach 100 subs by the end of the year. Um, part of that is because... Well, that's just the goal we set out for ourselves back in July, and we'd really love to hit it. Uh, also, we can make a custom YouTube link, which would make it a lot easier to find our channel. A lot of people are struggling to find it because YouTube autocorrects boredom, the way we spell it, to the normal spelling. And so searching, we actually miss a lot of searches because of that. Um, and if we can get that custom link, YouTube will be able to find us better in that search. And it would just help out the channel a lot if we can just get to that 100 subs. So that's our goal for the end of the year. So if you enjoy this or you want to help us out at all, please share some of these videos. Find your favorite video and share that one. Because your friends are going to probably enjoy stuff similar to you. So if, send your favorite video that might get them some interest to where they may give us a sub and help the channel grow. So thanks again. I hope you have a great one. Happy Halloween.